welcome back to Skin Obsessed Mary. Today we're going to talk about my skincare routine and I have to say, I don't want to scare you off, it's a long one. Um, I have a lot of steps, um, probably 9 or 10 in the morning and I'd say again in the evening and okay, I'm not suggesting you need to do all of these steps. Um, this is just something that's I've sort of developed over the years and it really works for my skin. There are going to be certain ones that I think you do need to include and I'll put those in as the sort of the essentials as well as the optionals. The other thing to note is that you don't have to get these particular products. Um, there are so many good things out there in the market, from low end to super high. I'm in that sort of middle to lower tier, to be honest. Um, but it's more just paying attention to the type of products they are and finding ones that fit with where you live, what you have access to, and certain brands that you already enjoy. So it is going to be quite a long video, so I'm going to put it into two parts. I'll sort of do the morning and I'll do the evening. And I will put the timestamp right here for the evening skincare routine. So if you just want to zoom past all the morning, you can head right there. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I do in the morning is cleanse my skin. Now really, this is sort of an optional step. Some people don't feel the need to do it. I do because I just want to make sure I'm starting with a clean slate and it sort of refreshes me and wakes me up. I use a very gentle cleanser in the morning, which is this one. The other thing to note is don't spend a lot of money on cleansers because literally they're on your skin for what, 5, 10, maybe 60 seconds, and then it goes right down the drain. So don't spend a lot of money on it. Um, the other thing to note is that I do mine in the shower and if you use really hot water, like you can see the steam coming off, then don't do it in the shower because your face isn't meant to have that really, really hot contact. Um, it doesn't like it. So otherwise just pop out and do it in the sink when you're done. So at the minute I am using um, a cleanser called Nourishing Hot Cloth Cleanser. <laughs> don't use a hot cloth, <laughs> use a warm cloth by Your Good Skin. This is a Boots brand, and I have to say it's really good, and it's super, super reasonable. I mean, it's cheap as chips. This thing costs less than nine pounds, and I don't use it for what it was intended. It says on the back that you're supposed to massage this onto dry skin, and then you use one of the cloths and you take it off. I found it was way too thick, and it just kind of tugged on my skin when I put it on, so I didn't like it. After about four or five days, I was ready to chuck it. And I decided, hmm, let's emulsify it a little bit. And I put some water on it and I went, ooh, this is quite nice. So I moved that over into the shower. So I use this every morning. It's like a pea size amount. It's really, really nice, super nourishing, super gentle. Do that and off you go, okay? So when I get out of the shower, um, I make sure that my face is still damp. I sort of dry it off just a little bit because your skin absorbs product better when it's wet. So again, while I have a lot of products in this range, they just go one on top of the other. I don't rest in between. So there is this sort of dewiness and this um, the dampness that helps them sort of soak up one after the other. So with the damp skin then, I go in with a toner. And again, this is sort of an optional step. And there are lots of different toners, essences, lotions. Some have active ingredients, this one does not. So it's very gentle. And it's really just a way of putting on a hydration level that sort of sets the scene for all the actives and the good stuff you're gonna put on their skin. Two ways to do it. Here, sometimes I just put it on a cotton swab and go all over my face. And other times I just dab a few I do drops and kind of pat it on. It depends on how my skin is feeling. If it's a bit dry, I, I won't use the pad because it soaks up a lot of the product. Okay, optional step. Okay, the next, also an optional step is exfoliation. So many of the products that I'm using are, are there to help with cell regeneration and renewal and building new collagen. And the whole theory is that the skin that's down below is coming to the surface. So that's all fine and dandy unless you get the dead stuff off that's on the top. And we all have dead skin cells that it's a part of the skin regeneration process. So I use exfoliants to get rid of it. There are two types. There's a physical, which you can actually feel the grainy elements. Sometimes it's rice, sometimes it's sugar, um, and really not recommended for people with sensitive skin. Or there's a chemical and it just basically eats away the, the things that bond the cells together. So it just wipes away, okay? So I use the chemical on a daily and I use two. The first one I use is by The Ordinary. It's a 10% lactic acid. Literally, I take about four drops and I just pat that all over my face, including my, uh, my neck and my chest. Everything is always face, neck and chest, by the way, and the back of the hands. So I use this every other day. And then aside from that, on the alternative day, I use the Dr. Glycolic Beauty Pie uh, Micropeeling Pads. This is gorgeous. Um, they're easy peasy little things. You pop them out, you wipe them all over and off you go. Now I've been using the lactic acid for about two years now. And um, I use it every other day. Start with any type of exfoliant quite gently. Maybe do it once a week, twice a week so that you can build up to it. 
Um, and I've been using that one for about a year and a half, and I did notice a, a, a nice difference in my skin when I started using it. But wow, the difference that this one made was unreal. I've only been using this for about three weeks now, and within the first week, it was unreal how much brighter my skin got. Oh, love it. Now, if you haven't heard of Beauty Pie, it's something worth checking out. Um, now, they only deliver in the UK and in the US, but they are just a fabulous company. What it is, is sort of a buyer's club for luxury products, um, skincare and makeup. And you pay a certain amount a month, it could be five pounds, it could be 10, it could be 20, and it gives you access to purchase a certain amount of their products at an incredibly reduced price. Okay, so this toner, which is the Japan Fusion Hydro Prep Lotion, it, if you were not part a member of the club, would cost you 25 pounds. But since I am, it cost me eight pounds 66. Good deal. And the glycolic pads, and those ones retail for 25 bucks if you are not a member, and I paid £9.42. You can't beat it, so that's something that you should check out, and you're going to see a lot of it feature here. Okay, so after the exfoliants, we get into the antioxidants, and these are just those really powerful active ingredients that are good for everybody, and you need to have them in the routine. This would be an essential. The first is vitamin C. Oh, it is such a powerhouse of good stuff for your skin. Um, it evens out skin tones, it reduces fine lines and wrinkles, it helps with the texture of your skin, it brightens your skin. Everybody over the age of 22 should have this in their skincare. And there are super expensive ones, like SkinCeuticals does what people consider to be the best. It's like 120 bucks. Totally not doing that. This one from GOW, which stands for Garden of Wisdom, I think they're out of Arizona. It's an Arizona company. This costs 10 pounds. 10 pounds. The thing to know about vitamin C is it's highly unstable. It doesn't like the air, it doesn't like the sun, and it will oxidize, which will basically means it's useless and it happens fast. You wouldn't get more than three months out of a product. And I would look for ones that only come in sealed, totally opaque packaging, because there are lots of vitamin C products out there that come in clear packaging and you can see through it. I've had to throw them out after spending money on them, a lot of money on them. So I've learned to only go for the products that you can't see through it. Um, I alternate between this and there's one by Timeless. There's a Timeless UK and there's a Timeless in the US. And it's almost the same formulation, which is 23% vitamin C and ferulic acid. That's about the highest concentration you can get. Most of the high street and drugstore brands are somewhere between 12 and 16% vitamin C. It's 23%. Brilliant. 10 pounds. <laughs> Love it. Okay, the next thing in the arsenal is also in the antioxidant category, and it is hyaluronic acid. This is the most hydrating ingredient in the world. Uh, it holds a thousand times its weight in water, and its job is to suck in moisture from everywhere, from your skin, from the environment, and to, to bring that into your skin. Now, this is one that I got from Timeless, and I actually have it in two sides. I also have it in the Mac Daddy version, which I just used to refill this. And I went to go and repurchase, and I don't think they sell this anymore. Um, but hyaluronic acid, you can get pure versions of this. Pestle and mortar do a lovely one. You can get them, and, and they're actually built into a lot of skin cares. So I mean, it's a lot of um, moisturizers and other types of products. So it's just there for pure hydration. I do a couple of drops of this in the morning, pat it all in, keep on going. So the next in this line, again, would be in the serum category of antioxidants. This is a nice to have. You don't need this, but I love it. This is another Beauty Pie purchase. It is their Ceramide Moisture Boosting Serum or something like that. It's a lot of words in it. It is fabulous. It has this little roller ball on it. You click it twice and you just kind of roll it over your eyes all the way along the orbital bone and all the right. I love it. It's an amazing product. It's just, it's a nice, it makes me feel good. Let's see how much it costs. This one is 40 if you're not a member, but if you are, it is six euros or six pounds, six pounds, 62. Like, why wouldn't you? Okay. So after my totally indulgent ceramide eye serum, which again, you don't need, but I love, and it's so cheap. I go in with Beauty Pie's Uber Youth Serum, which has um, peptides and also contains hyaluronic acid. Uh, for non-members, this would cost you 80 pounds, but for me, because I'm a member, it costs me 11 pounds and 17 pence. I'm laughing, I'm laughing, I tell you. Okay, so the next phase after the serums and the antioxidants is the moisturizer. Um, and really this phase is to, is to lock everything in. So all the good stuff that we've just done to our skin, it's to keep things in place and to make sure that we maintain that hydration throughout the course of the day. Um, again, I'm gonna go indulgence here. I do use an eye cream. You don't really need to use an eye cream. Any of the moisturizers that you're putting on your face can go right up to your eyes, without a doubt, and it's still gonna do the good stuff for it. It's an indulgent step that I like because it makes me feel like I'm getting an added boost. 
a lot of people don't agree. I love this. This is Kiehl's. It's called the Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I like it so much. I have a couple of them in different places. I have one in my nightstand. I have one in the bathroom and I have one in my, my fancy little dressing room. Um, the cost of this stuff is, um, I think it's 45 pounds for the small one. I would generally get the bigger and refill it. Um, and it's a nice creamy, it is green. You can see the avocado coming through there. Um, I find it deeply hydrating and I love it. And I don't care what anybody says, I'm gonna keep using eye cream <laughs> because it makes me feel good. So I put that all over the eye and make sure to go into the crow's feet because that's where all those fine lines and wrinkles sort of form. So I make sure that that is completely saturated and has good hydration. The next thing I use is another beauty pie. Gosh, you're certainly seeing a lot of this. Um, it's called Super Healthy Skin. Um, it, is a, it is a lovely moisturizer. It's not too heavy. It's really good for the day. I use one of the little spatulas. I don't use too much of it. The scent is quite natural, I suppose, um, and I really like it. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> so it's a lovely product with hyaluronic acid. It easily, it easily absorbs into the skin. It's just really nice, and the price of it. <laughs> if you're not a member, this costs a hundred pounds. Um, if you are, it costs just over 13, 13 pounds. Are you listening to me? <laughs> Go check out Beauty Pie. Uh, the last and then probably the most important uh, part of the entire skincare routine is sunscreen. I'm not joking. Don't use most of these products if you're not using a sunscreen. Vitamin C, forget it. Exfoliants, forget it. It will ruin your skin. So if you do all this great stuff in order to reveal the good skin underneath and you don't protect it from the sun, you are doing way more harm than doing nothing. I'd rather you do nothing than use these products and not use an SPF. The first one I use is Make Prem. This is a 50 um, SPF PA++++. Plus 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 plus. <laughs> That's a lot of pluses. This stuff is great. It works really well under makeup. It's one of the reasons I use it. Um, at the minute, I'm actually just using it on my chest and my neck because I'm using a different one for the face because it's hotter and I want to go with the tinted. But this would be an all-rounder that I would use, particularly on holidays if I'm out and I don't want a tint. This goes everywhere. I buy it by the bucket. I'm currently, uh, I'm just out of it now. It's all empty, but I've, it's on reorder. It's on its way here and should be here soon. The last one um, that I use pretty much every day at the minute because it's summer is the Elta MD. This is the tinted version and I love it because it's really good for my skin tone. I get pretty dark in the summer, not as dark as I should be because I should be in California right now for my summer holidays, but I'm not because I'm in Ireland and I'm not allowed to go anywhere. But um, this is a really good tint color for my skin tone. It might be too dark for many, but for me it's absolutely perfect. I love it, I buy it, I use it, I rebuy it, I rebuy it. Okay, so just to recap, if you're looking for the very beginnings of a routine to keep it simple so you're not having to do the nine or 10 steps, the first thing is vitamin C. Second thing is SPF, and you cannot do vitamin C without SPF, so they kind of go in tandem. And the third is the moisturizer. If you can do those three things every day, you are well on your way to a spectacular skincare routine. And as your skin starts to adjust and get used to this and starts looking for more products, then you can build the other pieces into it, just bit by bit. Go slow, you got time. If you have any questions, you have any comments, you have products that you're using, I'd love to hear what everybody's doing out there. Um, and what we're gonna do is hop on over to the evening skincare routine now. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at the evening routine. This probably takes a little bit longer. My morning routine, probably without all the talking, takes about two, maybe three minutes max. It's super quick, it does not slow me down. The evening one is probably a little bit longer, mostly because of the cleanse side of things. Um, and I'd say it probably takes five minutes, maybe six minutes. But to me, this is my favorite part of the day because I'm home from work, kids are fed, everybody's happy, and this is this is the merry time. So I kind of escape up into um, the top floor of the house, and I enjoy this part. It's quite ritualistic, and I find it relaxing, and I'm sort of leaving all the troubles of the day behind. So I enjoy this part. I hope you guys do too. First thing is get this junk off, um, the cleansing. You may have seen in my morning routine that I said the one rule of thumb about cleansing is don't spend a lot of money on your cleanser. <laughs> Should heed my own advice. This would be one of the exceptions to the rule. Now, um, this is an Irish brand called Pestle and Mortar, and pretty much everything they do is fabulous. I only buy it when I can get it on sale. The sort of the, some of the, the local pharmacies in Ireland will do a 20% or even a 40% off sale. When that happens, I kind of swoop in and buy a few of the products. Otherwise, this is 100 mils and it's 45 pounds. Oh, it's a lot of money, but uh, it is gorgeous. 
all of their stuff is heavily um, oil based and I have, you know, sort of more, more mature skin. So my body, my face loves oils. So I lean towards these type of products. If you have super oily skin, you may not like it. It might be okay. I don't know. It's made with a plush, plethora of fabulous plant oils. It smells amazing. And it kind of just, you scoop it out, you warm it up on your hands and it just melts. It melts everything away. Now you can buy, um, the cloths that they sell. Um, I think these came from Beauty Pie. Again, another super, super steel um, product. Double-sided, it has an exfoliating side and it has a flat side. So I start off with the exfoliating side, put the stuff all over my face, um, kind of let it rub and sink in and you can see how the stuff, the makeup just starts to dissolve. Now it might look like I'm tugging, I'm not tugging on my face at all. And one of the things that when it comes to getting rid of the mascara is when I come to my eyes, I just kind of wiggle down. I wiggle down so the makeup sort of goes down my face so that I can swoop it away. I don't like to go heavily over my eyes. So I rinse this in warm water, again, not hot water, warm water. And I take the exfoliating side and I get all the gunk off and it's amazing. This stuff swoops right off. So for my second cleanse, I go in with an old faithful CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I've used this for donkey's years. Um, it's great because I started selling it on this side of the pond, I guess about maybe a year and a half, two years ago. Otherwise, on one of my sort of, mem you know, I tend to go to the States about three or four times a year. I'd go straight to CVS or Walgreens and pick up a bunch of them and bring them back. I love it. It's gentle. It's got um, ceramides, niacinamide, all the good stuff. It is brilliant and a fantastic value. You get, see, what is it? 473 mils for about 13 pounds. You just can't beat it. So... I then, when my face is still wet, um, or I splash a little bit of water after I've done the first rinse off, I put this in, I apply it all over, and then I flip it over, and I use the other side, which is still clean. And she's by the end of that, it's gone. Like the makeup is gone. So those two steps, brilliant. Um, the next step, just like the morning routine, is the toner. I go back in with my Japan Fusion, and I swipe it all off. And that's where you can see if there's any remnants of makeup. And that's where I really prefer to use the pads than just my hands, which can be more refreshing for the morning. I use the pad because you can see the stuff that comes off and you feel like, yes, I got all that gunk off from the day. Yay. So the next step, I would say, is singularly the most important of an evening skincare routine. Well, once you get all the gunk off your face. Um, and it is retinol. Now this is a really scary and actually just a confusing space because there's so much stuff you can get and it's very difficult to understand the difference between all the different types of products. Um, it's a vitamin A derivative and it is powerful. It is the most powerful anti-aging product you can put on your face. And there are so many variations of it. Um, I personally have just reintroduced or re-entered the category of prescription. Um, tretinoin. Now I would have used this years ago. It is the most potent thing you can get. You can only get it by prescription. And I was, I think about the age of 45, I started, maybe 42, and I did it for about two or three years. And I was using a 0.05% and not a bother. My skin adjusted fine. You have to start very slowly. I started once a week, I did it on a Sunday. And then after, I think two, after a month, I added another day. And then after a month, I added another day. So it was sort of Sundays and then Wednesdays, and then I added a Monday. And this went, it took me about a year to get up to using it every night. So I had no trouble with it whatsoever. But that was a very, you know, potent place to start with the prescription and a 0.05 isn't the lowest. So it was, it was a humdinger of a place to start. So I did it very slowly. There are lots of products that you can get on the, um, you can get in the high street that you can get in the drugstore that are great introductions to it. They tend to be quite low percentages, maybe 0.03 or 0.02. Um, but I've decided that I needed to ramp it up. I stopped it and I'll do a whole nother post on this um, in the future, but I had to stop it because when I went from a 0.05 to a 0.1 after about two or three years of usage, whew, my skin did not like it. It started reacting and I started getting terrible peeling. So I had to stop it completely and I went off it for about two years. And then I started back in with um, just some drugstore brands, and you're gonna see this guy feature again, superstar. Um, this is my favorite product that isn't by prescription. Again, pestle and mortar. This product is 70 euros, but wow, it's amazing. It's so different because it's an oil. Now, usually retinol is very drying and it goes on as a cream, and this is the most incredible delivery ever. If I don't use prescriptions, this is what I use. It's worth the money. 70, 75 bucks for this baby, um, but you only need one squirt and it is super hydrating. So if you have oily skin, this might not be the favorite for you, but I absolutely love it. So, so this is Dermatica. They are a subscription service that through pharmacists and, um, and doctors, they will formulate a specific um, prescription based on your needs. And it gets shipped to your house 
um, once a month and it costs 20 pounds a month. Like it's ingenious. Now I've only been using it for a couple of weeks now. So mine is a 0.025 tretinoin with a 4% hydroquinone. The hydroquinone is there for discoloration. So I have, you know, the remnants of sort of age spots from too much sun exposure when I was a kid. So you do an online consultation. They take down all the details of what you're trying to achieve and they put together a special formulation for you. Now, when I first got it in the mail, I was a bit disappointed because it came with the 0.025. To me, that's pretty low. I'm, I probably get more than that in my regular stuff, over-the-counter stuff. So I immediately just got on and, and emailed them and they said, not a bother. We always start with this just to start slow and then we can build it up. So it's already, my next order will come in as a 0.05. And then my objection, my objective is to get to a 0.1%. So, but I'm going to do it slowly. There's no reason to hurry. This is way more potent than anything. So because I'm on a lower formulation than I would like to be, I'm going to use up some of the other products that I have in conjunction with this because I hate wasting product. So right now I use this every night and then I alternate it with two other products that I had already. And one is this, which is super hydrating and fabulous. And then if I'm not using that one, then I use this one by Elizabeth Arden. And these are little capsules, um, which I just find are fantastic, particularly for travel. You just twist it off. And this is actually comes with ceramide as well. So ceramide is, is quite a good um, soothing. It's just a fabulous little ingredient to go alongside it. Now, I can't tell how much retinol is in here because I can't find it written anywhere. So I would believe it's a 0.03 or 0.02 or something. So these together are probably around a 0.05, which is fine. That's kind of where I want to be. So until I get a formulation that is exactly what I want, I'm pairing these one night and I'm pairing these the other night, okay? Yeah, and I think these capsules retail for about, it's, it's like 60 of these cost 72 pounds. It ain't cheap, but it's dead handy. And, and, I, and I like them, they're, they're, they're really good. I think they recently got a number of awards this year too. Okay, then once I'm done with those um, retinols, the one thing I will say with retinol, if you're just starting it, it is important to put it on a dry face. I don't really need to so much. I let it dry a little bit before I put it on, but it will irritate your skin if you go if you put this on with wet um, with wet skin. It will peel all over the place. So if you're starting retinol for the first time, leave 20 minutes before you put the retinol product on. Okay. Then we are going into our moisturizers. I'm not using a whole lot of other. Um, oh, that's not true. That's not true. That's a big fat lie. If I'm using this on its own, which I'm not now, because I have this, which is oil-based and very uh, moisturizing in itself, and this one has ceramides in it, it's also quite moisturizing. But once those are out of circulation, because this is at the, um, the formulation that I want, this is dry. So when I'm putting it on my skin at night, by the time I'm still spreading it around, it does get a bit taut. This is very drying. So I like something in a serum that's going to really give um, some moisture and hydration to it. Hyaluronic acid will come back in at that phase, although I'm not using it right now. And that I talked about in my morning skincare routine. But right now I'm using these Elizabeth Arden um, Advanced Ceramide Capsules. This is probably the one product that is <laughs> the one that's, that's repurchased the most. It's brilliant. Again, it's the little capsule formulation. I've been using these, I don't know, maybe three or four years, maybe more. My mom loves them, so she always buys them for me, and they just feel like magic on the skin. So when you've gone through sort of the, the dryness of this, my skin just is screaming for it. I love them. I'm almost out. Probably need to look at placing a new order. Um, so that that's well, something that is going to continue to stay in rotation. Um, and then the last phase is the moisturizer. Um, this Kiehl's was in my morning routine. You can see I actually have a couple of sizes. They sort of live all over the place. So I, I love them so. So I take a little spatula to put a little bit and I pat it all over the eyes, all over the or orbital bone, as well as certainly the crow's feet. Okay, and the very last piece of this particular puzzle is my night cream. And this one is by Algenist. It is the um, Genius Sleeping Collagen Cream. So you guessed it, packed with collagen. Oh, this stuff is divine smells amazing. It's really quite heavy. It's not heavy. It's thick, but it doesn't actually feel that heavy on your skin. Again, I like those sort of oily textures, so this just suits me down to the ground, and it is a beautiful, just lovely, lovely, lovely kind of buttery cream that is just amazing on the skin. I'm getting near the end. <laughs> Probably going to have to repurchase. It's a little, it's the priciest thing I have in my arsenal, without a doubt. I was in Sephora, in the States in February, just before we went into lockdown. So I had to, got to, to go to what I call my Disneyland and I picked up a couple of their products and this is just fantastic. It ain't cheap. It's a hundred pounds for 60, for 60 mils. 
Now that was February. It is now July and I have, I'm still not out of it yet. And it was the first week in February. So this is good value for money and fairness. So <laughs> we'll see what decision I make when it comes time to, to face the bottom when I hit pan, as they say. So that is the bulk of the routine. There's something that sneaks in just towards the tail end. Okay, so hours have gone by. I tend to do my, my defacing around, I don't know, seven or eight, nine, depends what's going on. Um, I like to do it as early as I can because I like to just leave the day behind. Um, but later in the night before I go to bed, which is usually, I don't know, 11-ish, somewhere in that territory, like literally after I get into bed, I do two things. And one is I spray with the mist. And this is the Kiehl's Cactus Flower Hydrating Mist. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I love this so much. I have this in multiple sizes. I have this in multiple locations. It's at my, it's on my desk at work. It's on my dressing table here. It's next to my bed. Oh, people at work make fun of me constantly because you can see the spritz out of nowhere. It's like, oh, Mary's spritzing again. Um, I love it. It's fabulous. And I take it with me everywhere. So once I do that, I'm literally in my bed at this stage. And then my last piece is this. And this is another product by Beauty Pie. It is their Super Healthy Skin Amazing Sleep Oil. And I love the oils. I think I've said it a few times now. And this is just a lovely product. Super, super hydrating. It's just a final piece I put on. Um, it has a lovely smell. It's something I find very calming. And I feel like I'm just giving my, my face this last shot of moisture as it goes off to sleep land. Because that's when we do all of our recovery. Our cell recovery happens at night while we sleep. So this product, which is honking, if you look at the size of it, compared to most serums, I think it's a 50 ml product. It is humongous. Um, and it retails for, if you are not a member, it's 75 pounds, um, but I am, so I pay 18, 18 pounds for that puppy. Fabulous. So that is my skincare routine from start to finish. A lot of steps I know, um, but a lot of lovely products. And this stuff just makes me feel good. Like I said, it's the end of my day and it's, it's the merry time. And I love all the stuff that I'm using at the minute. One thing I will note, I will note about all of the products in the morning and in the evening. Um, are there hail, holy grail products? Maybe. I mean, I'd certainly say something like, some of these cleansers are, but I am a serial experimenter. So for me, it's about the categories of, of products more than it is the actual products. It's quite possible that when I do this again in three months time, there will be a sea of different types of products because I like to find new things that my skin enjoys. And it's sort of like going to the gym or even your diet. Um, if you do the same things every single day, your body doesn't respond anymore. So I do like to shake it up and bring new things in and to take things out just to give my skin a bit of time to um, like repair, to just take a bit of a break. Like I might not use as much exfoliation in the winter time or whatever. So I'd say in three months time when I do another one of these, there could be lots of new surprises. So with that in mind, I'd love to hear what you guys are using. What are the products that you really like? What are the ones that you've had a bit of trouble with? Um, these are the ones that work for me, but I'm always on the lookout for new goodies. So leave some comments down below and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.